ready, Nathan? Hey y'all, Dime Breed Barbecue, back in front of the grill today. Today we're going to be talking brisket burn-ins. What I've got here is I've got a brisket point that I'm going to be seasoning up. We're going to cook this thing, get a good smoke on it, build some bark, then we'll cube it up, toss it in some barbecue sauce. You're going to have some good old meat candy. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, punch the like button. Let's do brisket burn-ins. The rub I'm going to be using today, Tailgater's Party Rub. I love this rub. Savory. Works great on beef. Great on just about anything. But let's go ahead and season this thing up. Well, pretty heavy with it. Get the bottom side seasoned up first. Make sure we get our edges. And we'll flip it over, get the top side. Make sure and get all your edges on it. Pick up any excess on the board here. We're gonna let this thing hang out here while my smoker comes up to temp. I'm gonna be running today on the Fit Boss K24 Royal Oak Charcoal with a few chunks of cherry. We're gonna be cooking at 300 degrees on this thing. We'll let it go probably about three hours just till we get that bark built. Then we'll wrap it up, try to get it tender. Let's get this thing on the smoker. Alrighty, our smoker's up to temp. You can already see that that rub Starting to give this meat some good color. We're gonna get it thrown in the smoker. Set it down in there, 300 degrees. We'll check on it in about an hour. Maybe give it a rotate, make sure we get an even cook. I'll see you in about an hour. All right, we've been on there about an hour. Let's take a peek at this thing. And some real good color on here. Just gonna go ahead and give it a spritz. Kinda get our edges. We'll let that thing go for about another two hours. Then we'll check on it, maybe wrap it up. All right, so we've been on there about three hours. Let's take a look at this thing, see what it's looking like. Got real good color. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up. Bark's nice and set. I cook for color. I don't cook for t temp. All right, we're gonna be wrapping in butch paper today. Spray this down. Get it nice and wet. That makes it easier to work with. I'm just using the same spritz that I used on the brisket while it was on there. Just to kind of wet this down make that paper easier to work with. Got real good color. Let's get it on here, get it wrapped up. Got it wrapped up. Let's get it back on the smoker. I'm gonna go ahead and put a probe in it now, just so I can really monitor my temps. I want this thing to be reading about 206. That's where I'm kind of looking for it to read at. So we're gonna get this thing back on the smoker and let it get up to temp. All right. So that brisket point is at the temperature I want it to be at. We're sitting about 206. Let's pull it off here. Let it rest up for just a minute. Then we'll cube it up, throw it in this barbecue sauce, and make those burn ends. All 
We'll just let it hang out here for just a little bit, and then we'll unwrap it and cube it up. All right, so this thing's been hanging out here for about 30 minutes. We're gonna unwrap it, see how we did. That bark held up real good. That's a good thing about wrapping in butcher paper. We still got a nice bark. Now then let's cube this thing up, get them burnt ends. Juicy, got a pretty good smoke ring on it. It's not quite falling apart, still got some good bounce. Let's get it in the pan, add some barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce I'm gonna be using is Suckle Busters Original. Gonna get some of that sauce poured in here. Then we're gonna hit it with just a little bit of agave. Just to add a little sweetness to it, toss this around. like so. You don't want it swimming in the sauce. You just want a nice coat on there. So we're gonna toss this back on the grill about another 30, 45 minutes. Let that sauce kind of tack up. Then we'll be ready to eat. All right, here they are. It's getting dark on me, I know. But this is what we got here, some brisket burn ins. Um, these things wound up going about six and a half hours. We got a little bit of bounce, but they're also just fall apart hey if you like what you see here i got an instagram page at dying breed barbecue i also got a facebook page dying breed barbecue we just cooked up some brisket burn ins out there on the pit boss 